This is the golden ribbon and we have another tutorial today. The palm leaf icon suggested by Ariel Agosadu from Benign Africa. He messaged me um, through my email and we talked on WhatsApp and after a lengthy discussion he, he kind of convinced me to come back and to make some tutorials again. Today I have come with a new workflow. Hopefully not to burn out again so I can keep the a consistent flow of tutorials come in so let's get straight into it so this is what I have a 1700 by 1700 canvas with a radial gradient moving from gray to from a dark ash gray to um, a lighter gray and then I have the colors in circles now the logo and this geometric shape here so the scenario for this one is more of a workflow and how you can use Inkscape to aid your workflow. So you have a situation now where you're not a great illustrator, but you can understand where the major curves on the shape that you want to create into an icon or logo are, and thus you create a geomet geometric shape that represents where these major curves are on your desired icon or study that you are trying to get here. And so we're going to use the circles in Inkscape to and use their curves as a guide so that we can come to a a nicely designed icon in, in a style similar to what you would see for the golden ratio. But this time the circles have no set relation to each other. But you still can get a great, great look by using the circles to your advantage. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to put this right here. So it's sort of in the middle of the canvas. And I'm going to go to the circle tool. And with the circle tool I'm selected, I'm going to hit control and shift, left click to drag the, and drag the mouse holding the left click and the control and shift. And this scales the circle up proportionally to be perfect on the X and Y axis. I'm going to duplicate with Control D, hold Control to bring it down so it brings it down in a straight line. And then we're going to use the dropper tool, press D, or you can come here, F7, or click this. And we're going to select the dark gray at the bottom. What we want now is for the these two colors to be represented as the outlines, and we don't want the fill. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit D for the dropper tool, select hold shift down and we're going to click left click the circle in the with the desired color and that will give us a stroke now you weren't able to see it for this for this one down here but I'm going to show you for this one here you notice there's no stroke so I'm going to hit D hold shift and left click and you see it colors in the stroke with the same color that your dropper is click to or that your dropper has selected so we're going to go and hold shift select the two of these and we're going to right click on fill and remove the fill so we're just left with the two circles good and we're going to use these two circles to and duplicate them to match it to the vertices so we're going to go and we're going to use the black for the bulge and the green for the cut and if we notice here we have a cut into the shape and we have a bulge right here so we're going to use that so the green for the cut and the gray for the bulge so we're going to have the first circle here we're going to match up with the vertices as best we can that's these corners right here right, we're going to keep it to close to the edge as possible the bigger the circle the less dramatic the curve and we're going to keep it fairly big here because we don't want a dramatic bend then we're going to have a bulge right here this looks good so it's going to come in and come around great then we're going to duplicate because we want another bulge coming here mixing these two vertices good and we're going to duplicate this because we're going to have and yet another so we're going to have a cut actually in here so we're going to put the green duplicate the green and we're going to have a cut right here that will help us about here on the vertices 
and then we're going to duplicate we're going to move this down here I'm going to have the final cut along these vertices as best as we can good so we have ourselves our lines this looks pretty solid looks pretty solid so let's hold shift while we drag over the left mouse to select everything and we're going to hold control and move it to the side with the scan selected so it's a bit more in the middle next we're going to go in now and we're going to select our bezier tool you can press b or you can go to bezier right here and we are going to follow the circle so where it cuts we're going to follow the outline and where it bulges we're going to go on the outside of the circle we're going to start here and following the circle as best we can you can take more time when you're doing this because you don't have a time limit but as I have a time limit I have to sort of speed up a bit get this to as fast as possible good and we're going to bring this down here and then I'm going to curve this in bring it back right here select this follow it through so you're basically cutting in where the circle goes in and bulging out where the circle goes out which is the grey and green which is the green and grey respectively good so I'm going to double click right here because I've missed one final circle I'm going to add that circle double clicking the base here sets it in place so I'm going to double click this green or it's a bulge really so I'm going to double click the grey and I'm going to lift up high and we're going to match up with the vertices on the edge right here one two three four good and let's put this behind everything and then we're going to look back for this bezier maybe hard to see maybe wise to put the bezier in another color so that you can sort of visually see it let's put it in blue yeah I think that works better so we see it here good and then where we stopped just going to let me delete this vertice it's going to select it press B again for bezier or you can select it from here and we're going to click at this box and that will automatically start the bezier again for us to add to it so we're going to stretch across the circle and um, yeah I think that looks that looks good so what we're gonna do now we're gonna take a look at um, let's remove some of these things these circles and see how it came out we're gonna group it and let's move it to the side and finally we're going to color it okay that's not so bad so what we're gonna do now couple of things that we can definitely touch up and we can extend this a little bit more and we're going to delete this so that we can get a smoother curve yeah and up here let's make it a smooth bit smoother itself curves a little bit on the dramatic side here let's see if we can smooth it out a bit yeah and we're finished Good. so the next part of it is that we want to create our stem so what we're going to do we're going to go to path um, actually no we're going to go to bezier because let be also and we're going to go up here in the tool control box and we're going to select spiral and we're going to go in none and tra click triangle in then we're going to with our bezier selected about here pulling upwards we're going to create a stem stopping about here let's do that again when a bit funky and um, good now at first glance this may seem a bit unassuming and thin but we're going to increase it with a feature that came recently called the power stroke so it's going to double click the 
the um, the stroke and we're going to look for that purple node that you see right here and we're going to drag out good put up I if we could do this again, it's a bit weird, but that's okay. And um, we can. Good. Probably just have to move this circle a bit. Good. And then we're going to drag this out just a little bit. Great stuff. Let's move this to the side. Let's lift this up. Alright. Meanwhile, we can play about with this to get the. A bit nicer edge. And then you can um, lift this up a bit. Good. I'll delete this to get a nicer curve. Okay. Alright, so we're going to set this in the green too. And we're going to move the stroke. And we get a relatively, relatively nice one. No, still a bit dramatic up here. And you can definitely use the, the circles even more to get that perfect curve and well, this looks pretty good on my side then we're going to change this into a path using control shift and C or you can go to path object to path I think path object to path yeah and then we're just going to drag this out delete it and then use the handles to create a more palm like end of the stem looking great so now we're going to add the details into this so we're going to select b for the bezier or you can come here and we're going to draw some shapes for the colors number one and then number two and then this where we want the lines to be curved we're going to Make sure these curves are nice and pretty. And we're going to use the boolean, some boolean modes to help us out here. Some boolean modes to help us out here. So we're going to duplicate the underneath. Let's leave underneath. We're going to select the first one. And we're going to hit Control, Shift, and Star, which is the same thing as. See, make sure I have the right one selected. Right here. Shift and star. Oh, my fault. You have to first make sure you take off the power. <laughs> take off the triangle in and also take off the spiral. Or else you'll give you problems like that. So let's go again quickly. Click around. And we're going to duplicate the leaf. Control Shift and Star, and that's the equivalent to Path and Intersect. Good, and then we're going to do another one. Put it over. Duplicate and Control Shift and Star. And you can definitely take your time to do this, but I do have to push it a bit. Right, and this last one, I'm going to make it this color green. Let's take off the strokes off of it. And we can definitely lift this up a bit higher. I'm going to do this again. Very quickly, duplicate and shift and stars to get a more even cut. 
All right, then the next part is that we're going to go and hit the bezier with the final two sheens. We're going to cut through the apex of this leaf. Create and finish the shape. Duplicate the one that's underneath it. And we're going to hold shift to select this other shape and control shift and star again for intersect to intersect the two shapes. I'll definitely be doing something on Boolean modes. In fact, I already have it written just to do the video, so which gives you an in depth look into the Boolean modes because I know that's a confusing topic. We're also going to create a sheen for the stem, duplicate, and control shift and star. With both of them selected, select the same green, and we have it finished. A uh, palm leaf icon. If you enjoyed the tutorial, now be sure to leave thumbs up you know, and I will see you for another one. But until then, get up. Nice.